Hey there everyone and welcome to Simulink 101. In this video, I'll be explaining how to solve a second order differential equation using Simulink. So let's get started. Let's say that you were given the following differential equation with those initial conditions and you were asked to solve it using Simulink. What will you do? The first thing you need to do is obviously create a new Simulink file, so go ahead and do that. The following screen should appear. Next thing you need to do is rearrange the differential equation you are given. Our equation is of second order, so we will rearrange and have the highest expression, which is of second order, on the left-hand side of the equation, and on the right-hand side will be the remaining terms. You will be applying the same strategy on any order of differential equation. So for example, if you have a fourth order differential equation, you will have the fourth order term on the left hand side and the remaining terms will be on the right hand side. Now back to the new file we have created previously. The way to solve questions using Simulink is actually forming the questions using symbols uh, given by the Simulink library. Because Simulink is a software that will solve the problem for you, you just have to give the software the right information for it to begin solving the question. Actually, the only information necessary for the software to begin solving the problem is the right-hand side of the rearranged equation. Once we symbolize that side, we can solve the problem. In Simulink, we have an integrator symbol used to solve differential equations. Before we begin that, I need you to remember this piece of information. As much as the order of the equation, as much as integrators we will need. This is natural because mathematically, you will need to integrate the equation. Uh, for example, if it's of a second order, you will need to integrate it twice in order to solve it. And so for our equation, we will need two integrators because our equation is of second order. So we will drag two integrators from the Simulink library browser. They will automatically be called integrator and integrator1. Next, you will connect the two. As you can see, I have labeled the connections to be y and y prime. Uh, you can label any connection by double clicking the empty space above or below. Uh, they mean that the solution leaving integrator one is dy over dt or y prime, and the solution leaving integrator is y. Uh, you can see a dotted red line, never mind it right now, it will turn solid later on in the video. The way I go about forming the question is to divide the equation into terms and signs or operators. For our equation, we have three terms on the right-hand side, which are 1, uh, 2dy dt, and 5y. And there are three signs per term, which are positive, negative, negative, respectively. Starting from the beginning, find the constant icon from the library and drag it. It is already labeled 1, otherwise you can change the value depending on your question by just double-clicking on the icon itself. Drag the sum symbol and double-click it as well, and change the signs inside to positive, negative, negative. After you make the necessary changes to the icons and connect them appropriately, you should have a diagram that looks something like this. In order for us to make the 2 dy over dt term, we will need to drag a gain symbol. A gain symbol basically means a multiplication symbol. So we will drag that and double click on it, change its value to 2 because we're multiplying by 2. The same technique will be carried out to create the 5y term. Now that you have created all three terms, make sure that you connect them to their respective signs. Afterwards, you will connect the outcome of the sum symbol to the integrator 1. In the screenshot above, you will see that the previous red line is no longer there. This is because now it is connected to a symbol called scope, which can be used to display a graphic solution for an integrator. By this point, everything is done. All we have to do right now is run the program and let it find the solution. After the program is done running, just double click on the scope icon and the window of the graphic solution should appear. This will conclude our video for today. I hope you guys learned something and if you guys have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comment down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much.